New England Patriots at home week seven, having lost five of six now. They get the Buffalo Bills four and two by the hair of their chinny chin chins. Taylor over the top to Waller, can't bring it in, and the Bills win. Buffalo didn't just make one game ending goal line stand to win last week, they made two. Barkley, he's trying to run, he's not gonna get there. Can they get it down? I don't think so. Giants trying to get on the ball, they can't. And that's a terrible, terrible clock management end of the half. Took both stands to beat the New York Giants, and that's what's bugging Bill's Mafia. When is this team going to play and feel like a Super Bowl contender? Josh Allen's last incomplete, symbolic of their season, because it was there, and it could have been caught or could have been thrown a little higher. They just seem off. Oh, Josh Allen's sick. He had it. He had it. They had the play perfectly set up, and he just hit the front rim and clanked it. Thankfully for Allen and the Bills, they have Stephon Diggs at least. He's their 2023 MVP. Ten more catches last week, 100 yards. Allen throws. Diggs catches to the 36-yard line. 100 or more yards in four straight games for Diggs, five out of the last six. Looking in the right corner of the end zone, fires a bullet into Stephon Diggs. I can't play man on you. Hey, I told you I was going to kill him. New England did take on Devontae Adams last week, held him to 29 yards. Oh, rolls up in the air, and it's intercepted off the deflection. But they also gave up a touchdown to Jacoby Myers, 61 yards, gave up a 48-yard pass to Trey Tucker. They've given up a 98.4 rate to wideouts in 2023, so Diggs could be a problem still. End zone. C.D. Lamb, touchdown Cowboys. Allen will try and rebound after his subpar outing versus New York. Sub 90 rate, only 169 yards, just 5.6 yards per attempt. Allen on the move, trying to escape. Flips it to Dawson Knox, who can't get it. Allen didn't even get sacked once, so it wasn't the pressure that was the problem. He just couldn't find guys open for many big chunk plays. And that's where New England could make it tough for him again. They've held quarterbacks to one of the lowest yard per completion averages in the league. As they get an incompletion on first down. Yeah, that was good defense there. You see they get up, get the hands on them. This is what the Patriots have done for five years. New England's secondary has only come up with one INT though in 2023. So what gives? Allen threw his sixth of the year in their week six win. Honestly, I don't think I could have imagined this defense coming out and dominating this first half the way that they have. The Patriots defense will get hit with James Cook along the ground, 71 yards last week over five a carry. And an inside run. Cook one more time into the secondary. And some Latavius Murray maybe 45 yards on 12 attempts for him in week six. New England, one of the hardest teams to run on in the league, held Josh Jacobs to 3.1 a carry, holding backs to 3.5 a run for 2023. Jacobs held to just one this time by Peppers. Pat's own run game might need to take center stage for its offense. It kept them alive versus Vegas at least. Ramondre Stevenson, a touchdown, 4.6 a run on 10 tries. Here he is, can he come home with a touchdown? He does! Ramondre Stevenson. Ezekiel Elliott, seven attempts, 4.9 a carry and a TD. Going up and under, he's in for the touchdown. Maybe double up their workload, triple it maybe. The Bills, even after holding Saquon under four a run, have given up over five a carry to running backs this season. He bursts out of there, 25, 20, 15, 10, five, Touchdown, Travis Etienne! So maybe New England could bleed the clock with its backs, and that would put less pressure on its passing attack that hasn't done much attacking. This is just a horrendous throw by Mac Jones. I mean, this one wide open, Henry, and he just misses him. New England has just had the darndest time moving the ball through the air, and in turn, scoring points. New England's week six output, fitting in with their Will Ferrell body of work. Mac Jones, no TDs, a pick, rating under 80. That's been standard for him this season. One on one over here, and out of bounds is Thornton. Haven't scored more than 17 now in four straight games. Takes the snap out of the shotgun, Saints bring four, and Carl Granderson, the ball's picked off. That's Tyron Matthew, 15, 10. And I'm getting worried that Bill is about to have to meet with that guy in the commercial to talk about how not to become like your parents. Technology can be confusing though. Buffalo secondary does not appear to be one that Jones would have an easy time getting right against. They're holding quarterbacks to a mid 70s rate. Fires one over the middle and it's intercepted. And when Mack drops back, he'll be trying to dodge a pass rush with the fifth highest pressure rate. Maybe throw wrenches at Mack all week. If he can dodge those, maybe he can dodge Bill's pass rushers. Loses the ball, 
It's on the turf at the 40! If you hear something, add it to the comment section. That's always helpful. And so are your takes and viewpoints, which you should include as well, along with score predictions. Like these. Come on, anyone calling for a New England shocker 